A man of insanity and patriotism. The one true God-fearing American badass to ever roam the Badlands, Jane Doe. Has no counter, but is no counter, say some. Easy to pick up and hard to master, say others. What do I say? If the video length is anything to go by, then I must have a fair bit to talk about. So let's get started, shall we? There are two mindsets you can have when playing soldier, offensive and defensive. When playing on the offensive, you will often be wearing a nifty pair of shoes known as the gun bones, allowing Sully to take to the skies like a true goddamn American eagle, at a fraction of the health lost. When playing offensively, you could fall into either the flank or the front line. When playing on the front line, you should stick to your team's medic like glue or the objective such as a payload cart or a cough point. Keeping up the pressure on the enemy, but ready to bail if need be. Find yourself on the defensive side. You must plant your feet in the ground where you stand and tell the enemy, This point is mine! Do you understand that? You can hold your ground with just about any combination of weapons. <coughs> Except for a select few. Which leads me to... Rocket jumping, you know, the thing that any TF2 video about the soldier must mention at least once. The big elephant in the room when it comes to playing soldier effectively. Clicking the ground and tapping buttons may sound easy, and after a while, it is. But knowing how to rocket jump is what is probably the most important part of playing soldier competitively. But you really cannot tell someone how to rocket jump. It's a skill, and like all skills, they take time, effort, and dedication to get better. The best way to learn is to jump in to it yourself pun intended. And I just remembered, we should probably talk about the rocket launcher for a bit. Ah, the rocket launcher. A true beauty. Four rockets in the chamber, twenty in reserve, reloads one at a time, shoot people, they take damage and die. Simple, right? Wrong. Good soldiers should be thinking about every rocket they are shooting, and not mindlessly throwing rockets at people that will only do about the twenty to thirty damage. This clip here is from an organized scrimmage of my Highlander team. In this clip, I am using the direct hit rocket launcher, so I should have no problem denying any jumpy classes that want to throw a wrench to my team's plans. Unfortunately, I was just throwing rockets around like a madman trying to find the spy, and I had no rockets loaded when this enemy soldier bombed our medic. Now, if I still had even just one rocket still loaded, it would have made all the difference, but I've learned my lesson. Soldier! Yes, Medic? You are trying my patience! I'm sorry, okay? You must also factor in the distance from you and your enemy. You don't want to be doing this. You might as well be tickling them with a feather. You want to be doing this. Great, huge damage numbers that can rival your team's demo or heavy. Dealing out the important picks and kills that put your sniper in spider shame. And let's not even get started on air shots. These sort of moments in TF2 are the reason that I mean soldier. Now knowing all this is all well and good, but I hear you say, what do I avoid at soldier? Well I'm glad you asked, and there really are a lot of things you should be avoiding when playing Solly. The answer, everything. You are a direct counter to nothing. Anything can kill you, even the medics, dear god, even the medics. Well, uh, not exactly. Now, in general, when playing as a soldier on the flank, or what is commonly referred to as the Roma, you will want to avoid the main choke point at all times. It's no surprise that the flank soldier plays on the flank. As for interacting with the individual classes, you mainly want to avoid these guys, especially these two. If you turn a corner into a heavy rearing up his gun, a medic behind him healing them, and you have no teammates, it will take a miracle for you to get out of there alive. <laughs> Meanwhile, our hard hat helper over here can really throw you off when you rocket jump in front of a sentry. Wait a minute, Care Bear. The pyro can reflect soldiers' rockets and push players around like that bully who bit me up for lunch money. Alright, pyro is a pretty big contender for shutting down the soldier. Luckily, I've got that covered. Safety steps to avoiding the pyro. Number one, stay a good distance away from the pyro. Pyro's flamethrower and shotgun limits him to only short-range combat, unless he has godlike aim with a flare gun, and even then you would have had to be very out of position to die to it. Just keeping a good distance away from the pyro should keep you safe.
Number 2. Hitscan Weapons Weapons that shoot bullets, or hitscan weapons, are the best thing to use against a pyro. Weapons such as the Demos Grenade Launcher and your Rocket Launcher are projectile weapons. They shoot the stuff that the pyro reflects. If you know you're against a pyro who knows how to right click with flamethrowers, it would be a good idea to equip a shotgun. Number 3. The Waiting Game Find yourself in this situation. You are wearing the gunboats and have no shotgun, and this pyro is waiting eagerly for you to shoot a rocket that they will most likely throw back in your face. You're both waiting for each other to make a move. If you know you can't win this one, jump away and live to fight another day. But if this pyro is looking for sick frags, dude, for a Zerblast montage that he will post on YouTube after about 10 minutes in Windows Movie Maker using the song Fade by Alan Walker, he might try to predict you shooting your rockets at Nair Blast before you have made a move. If this happens, shoot them down. The pyro has what is commonly known in the competitive community, beefed. This concludes the safety steps to avoiding the pyro. In the end, it all comes down to making use of the assets Soldier has available to him. Rocket jumping to get to the front line the fastest, knowing the limits of the class and your weapons and how he interacts with the classes. Soldier is a force to be feared, possessing the means to be both an all-out, guns-blazing madman or a strategic playmaker to get those picks and kills crucial for your team's victory. And that is how you do stuff as Soldier.